No, Peter, two days ago. Do you have a manifesto? The clock is ticking on. The clock is ticking on. Yeah, I suppose the the key thing I am focused on, really, from a, from a council point of view, is if, uh, if I'm elected. There's two real roles, in my view, of a councillor. One is in relation to the strategy of, of the town and the county and the place the area you represent. Um, that's one key area that councillor has 100% responsibility for. And what does that mean now? Out, it's really setting out the roadmap for your towns, your villages, the area you, you represent. To me, over the last five years, sadly, we've had no strategy for our town, we have no strategy for our area, and it has been a huge miss. And similar to any company, you need to have that roadmap there, and that needs to be happening very, very quickly. The other area that I think we've uh, a key role to play in and really that influences everything in relation to the to the to the budget budgeting process. You know, we talk about the role of councillors and again let's talk about the ones that they have responsibility for. Budgeting is hundred percent the role of the councillors. In this municipal district alone we have ten million euros a year coming out of the out of the area between parking charges, between rates, property tax, motor tax and all sorts of other local taxes. Less than four million of that is coming back into our into our area, and you can see the signs of it. Unfortunately, right around our town, right around our villages, right around the county, go out on the roads, go out on the, 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 the back back of the roads of the county, and it just isn't good enough. And, and where are they going to? Well, that's the ten mark question, Ali, and that's where I think the councillors really have to step up and ask the question. Unfortunately, the focus within Mayor County Council seems to be more on the marketing, the promotion, the kind of whole communication process, pushing it back into kind of head office and into administration and all the rest of it. To me, the key role of any council is getting the basics right. It's getting your housing, your roads program, your sanitary services, your road maintenance programs, the stuff that matters to people on the day-to-day -day life, that gives people a quality life that they deserve. And we're paying enough in terms of taxes, and we really deserve to put it back into the areas that, that really matters. As well, the other thing that we haven't seen enough of in the last number of years is in terms of real, to real progress on projects that are not government related, that are purely council related. I mean, you take Westward alone, you take the convent that has been sitting there for the last nine years, nothing has happened, despite the fact that a large tract of money was set aside by the town council over a number of years. You take the key area, we set out plans for a lighter pool and walk away around Roman Island, um, again, nothing has happened. You take the library, a million euros allocated by Minister Ring three years ago, and nothing has happened. I don't want to sound uh, cynical, and I don't want to sound negative, but there's a difference between, um, between being negative and being to re-look at reality and kind of fooling yourselves as to what has happened. We need to make these kind of things happen. We need to build for the future. And that's to me, is the, is the key challenge to all of us as councillors. And is there an upside to Westport? 